Yaknam, 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 that's monkey backwards. Hee, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We are going to start monkey race. This is like a take three because I swear I for some reason just cannot get a good commentary flow going. Anyway, Grand Prix, let's get this started. You can always check the controls by, you know, looking at the screen a little while back. <laughs> Or looking at when you play the game, but it's basically hold the control controller like a steering wheel in front of your face, tilt left and right to steer, and that's pretty much it. I don't know how to get a faster boost off the beginning of a race like the other characters do. I never understood that. It's it's probably some special timing, and I'm gonna get missile, aren't I? Yeah, there's items that you can collect in those question mark boxes, of which you use with the D-pad. And you'll notice that they appear in different spots on the D-pad there. I can see at the bottom right corner there. Like, if I were to press right, I'll drop a banana peel. If I were to press left, I'll get a speed boost. Stuff like that. It's just simply use items like that. It's very easy to get the hang of. The map is on the left side. Um, your color apparently is red if you're a player one. It just seems to be that way. <laughs> Uh, this first track, very, very linear, very easy. By the way, the game controls marvelously, so this is a party game I appro approve of, especially compared to the other ones that I have been playing. Although, I, I sometimes question if I'm, like, doing it right, <laughs> so to speak. Like, maybe because I just didn't play the games enough, I didn't get a grasp of the game's controls or how they play or whatnot, and I don't get why this track is so bumpy, by the way, but it's still fun to play. <laughs> uh, so I might, like, in a later part, redo some of the games, like, do a second visit on some mini games that, like, say, Monkey Golf or something like that. And wow, there's a lot of item boxes around here. But, ah, uh, no, please let me go. The missile is not that powerful. <laughs> Those missiles are kind of like the uh, pans in... The, well, I, oh my god, I was gonna say snowboard kids <laughs> for some reason, but, I, but what I'm more thinking of is the POW block from Mario Kart Wii, in that it hits everyone, essentially. Well, everyone in front of you. Unless it hits people behind you, I'm not... Hmm. But, but you get the idea. <laughs> anyway, I did pretty good, as you can tell. Yeah, you can't get much better than first place. <laughs> So, next race, here we go! Oh, I guess you press the accelerator when you're getting close, I mean, when they're getting close to saying go, and then you'll be able to... Ow! And then you'll be able to go forward a lot faster. Oh, don't fall off, don't fall off, please. Uh, on this particular track, you can actually bounce off the edge of the track as you're coming back onto the track. So that could be kind of an issue if you get looped like that, but it usually doesn't happen though. It's just something that you gotta look out for. And woo, this is awesome! I missed playing an actual, well, kind of good game. <laughs> let me go, let me go. Okay, thank you. I Well, maybe I should just not hold the accelerator when I am being plopped back onto the field when I fall off of it. Because that seems to be the thing that causes your momentum, you know, it's for you to get bumpy. Otherwise, it seems like you plop and drop in place, no matter what the angle of the floor is. So maybe that's a good strategy there, if you're ever falling off the track a lot. Or... Okay, that's getting a little annoying. <laughs> okay, maybe this version of Monkey Race is a little bit inferior compared to other versions. <laughs> But it's still definitely one of the better party games, so I still approve this one greatly. Woo! Only four laps this track? I are disappoint. But that's okay. Well, it's, it's not quite as linear as the first track, since it's a figure eight, so you got a left and the right turn. Woo! <laughs> so you shouldn't have much trouble with this one anyway, I'm just joking around basically. Next track! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 yeah! <laughs> I think those black screens are actually more of like a mock loading screen of sorts. Two, one, button! Yeah, that works! I get a much, much better start if I do it like that. Oh, surprisingly, I was able to figure it out after all these years randomly. <laughs> 
Must have been the years of playing Mario Kart. Was I hit by something there? I just couldn't tell. I, I, like, I didn't know if I got hit or if I actually got bumped by someone or if it was another random bump in the track. Whoa! <laughs> it's going a little fast at that corner. <laughs> Somehow I still managed to be in first place and these pyramids do not have any automatic doors. That would be kind of an interesting thing actually, I think, for the race. I mean, some people, well, then again, that might be a little bit too luck based. Because what would happen is that some uh, monkeys would get through while some would get left behind and then the ones that were left behind would be really left behind. But, it, well, maybe if the doors were moving fairly fast, like they would close for like two seconds and then open up. That would be, oh, stop bump, I mean stop hopping when you're going around corners, doctor. I beg of you. Yeah, I don't, I don't really get the whole thing that you're hopping like sometimes when you have to hit a boost or even when you're going straight strangely I just don't quite get that but I'm still managing to stay in first place I guess the computer AI is just not as strong as in other monkey race games but still as I said this is still fun to do <laughs> Woo! final lap and this track is definitely a lot, well, okay, it's not that much more complicated, but with the tighter turns, you're going to have to release the accelerator on certain turns, like maybe this one, so that you're able to make the turn without flying off like I was doing at the beginning. Uh, 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 oh. But, of course, you can't have an absolute perfect run when you randomly bounce. <laughs> I really do not get those bounces whatsoever. That doesn't happen in the story mode, and I assume that it's using the same physics that are in the story mode, you know, the main game, and you know, with all the ten worlds and whatnot, so I don't see why that would happen, because that definitely doesn't happen in the main game. Except maybe on those rails sometimes, when you're like stuck in between two pinball-like rails and you're rolling down a slope and you end up getting a little too fast or something, and you like jitter yourself out of it accidentally or something like that. Let's start! This looks like it should be... Is that like a crab? I mean, is this map in the shape of a crab or something like that? It certainly looks like it. Skull, kind of. That's what it looks like to me. This is like some sort of psychological ink block test of sorts to me, apparently. If so, so if there's any psychologist watching this video, you can give me an evaluation of my sanity level. Whoa, 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 whoa don't fall off. Please don't fall off. I'm in first place and I would like to stay there. And this is a pretty cool looking track, I have to say. It's like it's got the glowing edges. Un well, it's not, not really underwater, but... Well, yeah, it is underwater, isn't it? I mean, monkeys can be underwater. We've seen that they were underwater before. At least, no wait, we're not underwater, it just looked like it. I was, I was looking at the sail when I thought we were underwater. No, but that was just the sail blowing in the wind. I am an idiot. <laughs> but that's what I get for concentrating on the track and not on the background. But actually that's what I'm supposed to be doing, so... <laughs> but when I'm making an odd observation, I should be a little more observative. Is that a real word? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just screwing around here, this is going incredibly easily, and it almost seems like it's going too easy as opposed to what I, I've been used to the last couple of parts. <laughs> oh, observant is the word that I was thinking of. I... ugh. <laughs> See, my commentary is just not quite there today for some reason, I just can't get a good flow going, I don't know why. I guess we just have those days sometimes. Can't always make a perfect video. Then again, my videos are never perfect. <laughs> if a video was perfect, I don't think it would be very entertaining, to be honest. So a few mess-ups every once in a while, I would say add to a video. Because it gives the audience a chuckle, per se. Or at least I think it would. Hyper-perfection is... It's like, you know the person playing is going to be winning. <laughs> So, it's, it's, there's no suspense, there's no drama, no excitement. You get the idea. Careful, I got a good run going here and we're nearing the end. Oh, I was so far ahead of everyone. For 
you know, winning every single race, the doctor certainly doesn't seem very pleased. He looks pretty sad when he's doing his winning cheer there. <laughs> if, if you ask me, he does. Alright, baby, let's do this! Yeah! Whoa! That was almost a 90 degree turn there. Because you notice on the map there, it's it's got a slight curve to it, but that's still pretty tight for, you know, high-speed monkey ball action here. And I, did, I didn't hit any of those boosts. That is bl pure blasphemy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> that's a little bit tight, but I still somehow made it. Whoa, those tiny boosters are as powerful as the normal size boosters. That's kind of surprising. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, this track is a lot more complicated, but I'm still doing okay. Hit the booster. No, don't don't hop over the booster. I said hit the booster. Actually, I probably should, shouldn't even bother hitting those boosters. It seems like it's more trouble than it's worth slowing down to try and hit the booster. <laughs> so maybe I'll just go with... I skipped over that booster as well. What the poop? Why are these tracks so bumpy? <laughs> they need to repave these roads. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother with the boosters. I'm just gonna hop my way right across there, you. And I know that turn was a little bit tight. And there's only three laps in this one, really? This track is shorter, <laughs> shorter than the others. I should say shorter than others, and it only had three laps. I don't get it. <laughs> anyway, we I got a perfect score. So I guess that wasn't really all that dramatic. <sighs> but that's okay. I showed that Monkey Race is indeed very playable, even though the track is pretty random. Monkey Snowboard, hmm. That seems pretty simple. I don't really remember this game. But it seems pretty simple. Grand Prix! More races! <laughs> Let's do this! So I guess you lean the Wii remote forward to accelerate, and you turn by tilting it like so. Okay, I can I can do that. This I can do. Do I can this. And weirdly bump into other characters. Oh, this controls very nicely. I assume that, yeah, you can jump off these... Or maybe not. I thought that they were like those slopes in Mario Kart where you can get a boost, or excuse me, Mario Kart Wii, where you can get boosts when you jump off of them. But that doesn't... Oh, maybe you can. It does seem to be a little bit different jumping off of them than it does off the ground. So yeah, I guess you do get a little boost. It's not very noticeable if you didn't jump beforehand, but there you go. <laughs> oh, I should have jumped more towards the edge. That's okay. I am still completely dominating these this race. What? What are these bananas for? Do they, like, increase your speed or something? I, I, I've seen the bananas around the track, and it's like... Was there a use item button? I don't have any items. So, so, so what's the bananas for? I don't... I really don't know. <laughs> Can, uh, I guess I do notice a little boost when I grab a banana, but... It's not, like... An exceptional boost, and it only seems to be like for a half second or so. Woo! Obviously, avoid the snowmen. Snowmen will stop you. But I, I'm not sure if they explode, though. I'm thinking like Mario Kart 64, where those snowmen are ruthless. The, the kids who make those snowmen lace them with explosives or something like that. Ugh. Alright, next track, that was incredibly easy. <laughs> Apparently I am good at the racing games, or they just happen to play the best of all of them, and I'm able to play them because they play good. <laughs> As you can tell from my videos, I'm not a bad player by any means, but if something is off, well, it's gonna throw me off. <laughs> oh, I missed the opportunity to touch that arrow and jump off it because I got bumped over it, but that's okay. How about this one, though? Can I do this one? Woo! That's some hang time. Whoa! Okay, they don't explode. <laughs> you just sort of stall for a second or two and get caught on them. Maybe they aren't... I mean, they're quite, they're quite solid snowmen, but maybe they're like Velcro or something like that. That's how you're able to 
stick onto them so viciously. Like, it catches onto your fur or something like that. I, those snowmen may not be made out of snow or what, Velcro or something like that. I, not, I'm just trying to make up some possibilities here just to try and give a logical explanation of sorts to this. Whoa! I didn't know that could happen. <laughs> I guess do not ram face first into a wall, but then again that is recommended for pretty much anything. But I didn't know that would actually happen, especially the way that I just like grazed off the snowman. As I said, I don't really remember this game very much. I apparently played it a few times according to the play counter uh, before I played this game, but yeah. And all these turns are even very, very gentle and easy to get through. And also in racing games, your best bet to get ahead of the pack is to stay as close to the inside of the track as possible. Basically, the, the shorter your circle through the track, or the shorter your line is through the track, the more time you'll save, and that's the key to getting good times in racing games. But man, I wish the computers were more competitive. <laughs> and dang it, I wish there were some items! Even the aforementioned snowboard kids that I mentioned accidentally was the, uh... I mean, uh, it had a lot of items in it, just like, well, Mario Kart games. Snowboard kid games, I liked. I, I, I played both, both of them on the, uh, N64, and I enjoyed them quite thoroughly, and... I, I believe there was a sequel on the DS, if I'm not mistaken. But I never got the sequel. I, I don't know why I didn't get the sequel. I think it was because I heard it was bad or something like that. I don't... I honestly don't remember. I'm gonna have to look that up or something like that because I definitely wouldn't have passed up a Snowboard Kids game because I like the series. And I definitely recommend trying Snowboard Kids yourself. Very, very ni nice racing game. See, why, why did I not graze off that snowman? I don't know. Perhaps I shouldn't question the logic. You know what happens when you question the logic. Um, yeah, I'm tired of repeating myself with that. You've seen my videos long enough. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, you best go back a few videos. Because <laughs> I've definitely said it before somewhere in there. And this is yet another very, very easy to get through track. Even with all these snowmen, they're just like sitting there. There's no movement or anything that you have to avoid. They're just... They're just hanging out, they're happy little snowmen. Okay, they're not that little, but they're just there. They're just minding their own business. They're practically scenery, the way that they're placed. Unless you somehow accidentally jump into one of them, like, blindly. Like, something like, here. Oh! <laughs> That's okay, I'm so far ahead, it doesn't really matter all that much. Woo! And there is the go! Not much more to say here. <laughs> Another perfect score for the Grand Prix. Mm, thank you, thank you. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Doctor looks a lot happier there than when he was when he actually wins the race. I don't know. <laughs> uh, do I have time for one more mini game? Hmm. I think I do. I think I can play this one quick enough. This is another one of the better mini games in uh, Super Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz in the party games, in that you move with the control stick and you swing with the Wii Remote. The angle of your Wii Remote de uh, depends on where the ball is going, essentially. And you can also tell where the ball is going based on that little line that you see, and she really got me there. <laughs> Alright, you're going down this time. You don't stand the chance, even though you really did. Man, she's brutal on me! <laughs> I played this game quite a lot, actually. Uh, as you see by the play counter there. I just gotta be wary of that low ball of doom, and I should be fine. That's how she got me both times, was that low ball. <laughs> no, 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 don't bump! Oh, I didn't get there fast enough. It was slow. I was tricked. I am being destroyed, being beaten by a girl. How did you miss that? You were right there. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah! 
Needless to- Oh uh, wait, what? What do they call this game otherwise? I, I was- I was gonna say- Is it really- No, it's not called squ Squash. They, it's called something else. Well, maybe it's called Squash. No, she- I was, I was actually gonna hit her the ball that she was- That she missed. That was pretty stupid on my part. Just I'm just kind of like running around on instinct here. Hmm. I seriously can't think of the other name for this game. Unless this is the name of it, and I've just heard it being called something else. But anyway, as I said, I do approve of this game, and that's all that really matters in the long run. <laughs> Woo! The line that uh, shows when the ball is hit is really, really helpful, in that you don't really have to like, second guess where the ball is gonna be going as it's, you know, bouncing around the room like crazy. Well, okay, it doesn't bounce around like crazy, it bounces around with realistic physics. <laughs> Come on, I can't lose to her! I can't, it's impossible! No! This is my game! Oh no, I lost to her! But I had fun. <laughs> as I said, I'm only gonna show the games once now, because otherwise I'll be burning a lot of time doing so, and yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part. Oh dear, when we get back to other bad games. I recall Monkey Targets being not like the original Monkey Target, hence so I've only played it once. Yeah, I bet you're looking forward to that one. <laughs> Toodaloo!